Hey guys, it's Uncle Spud here with episode number seven of our Ocarina of Time Three Heart Challenge. Let challenge, excuse me. Let's play. Uh, yeah, it's been a little while, but excited to get going. Last time we collected the last spiritual stone and uh, met up with Zelda running away with Impa and Ganondorf chasing after him, and we received the Ocarina of Time. So let's go ahead and head on into town. Now I'm gonna show you guys. Um, little thing that's been built in the game that I didn't know about until years and years after I first played this game. But after you get the three spiritual stones and you go through the cutscene that was in last episode, if you go into the back alley. I didn't even know, actually, I didn't even know about the, I knew about this area right here, but I had no idea that if you turned right here, there's this, uh, this whole other section. But if you do this, you should see this guy right over here, this soldier. So, this is kind of a little Easter egg I, I never knew about for like seven, eight years playing this game. But yeah, if you talk to him, he says, uh, Are you the boy from the forest? I, I finally met you. I have to tell you something. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's tendon Impa sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of time. And bam. So you're like, whoa, what just happened? So if you try to make contact with him again, Navi just says, he's not moving anymore. So like, some dude dies in this game. <laughs> that just blew my mind when I found out about it. But yeah, there's actually this whole alleyway. Uh, kind of uh, sad because we got all these people, you know, dancing and chasing chickens and, you know, dancing again and people bidding at the marketplace and laughing. And some dude just died in that alley. <laughs> Your king just got dethroned. Your government's all in a panic and you guys are just, you know, happy as can be. Anyways, I'm not going to the right place. Actually, you know what? I am going to the right place, because there's one little thing I wanted to pick up before we get this all started. Uh, if you remember, uh, after we got our second spiritual stone up on Death Mountain, we went to the Great Fairy there, and she said, hey, if you head back over towards the Hyrule Castle, off on the side, there will be a, a friend of mine that will help you out. So we're actually going to do that. Right now. You need bombs, because you need to take out this little boulder right here. And then that provides a crawling hole for you to go through. But yeah, we head to the Great Fairy Fountain. Play Zelda's Lullaby as usual. We gotta go through the creepy scene with. Yeah, she just looks weird. <laughs> but yeah, she yeah uh, she gives you a pretty cool. Uh, she's a great fairy magic. Uh, she's gonna give us a magic spell with this magical red glowy orb, which is that uh, this is actually a really cool spell. This is Din's fire. Uh, it's basically a fireball engulfs you and destroys everything in close range. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can use Dinfire only, not only to attack but to burn things, and that will come in handy later in the game. When people have made you weary, or when people with battles made you weary, come visit me, yada yada yada. Alright. Anyways, now that we got that little side thing out of the way, let's go ahead and go back to the Temple of Time. So we haven't actually been to the Temple of Time yet. See, that's another thing. The guards are still here. That doesn't make any sense. Anyhow. The guards are still here, but yeah. Something, something's fishy about this whole 
this is a whole conspiracy. And we're gonna go in here. This is where we head to the Temple of Time, right over here. And I love, I love the Song of Time and how it's played in the Temple of Time. Just love it. Now we're gonna pop over here. You see this big old stone or er, stone door right here, where it leads to? We don't know. So let's go check out what this has to say. There are three hollows and an inscription here. He who owns three spiritual stones and stands with the Ocarina of Time and plays the Song of Time. This is how it reads. So yeah, so we have all that stuff, so we know what to do. Okay, wait a second, I gotta remember. Okay, okay. There we go. Wait, no, 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 that's not what I need. It's YLR. There we go. I'm used to it being the N64 version. Such a cool song. It's probably my favorite from from this game. I really like I really like um, the uh, Song of Storms as well, but I really like that song. So yeah, the orbs are gonna float above us. They're gonna land down. That's gonna light up. And we're gonna get some some strings. Door opens. All right, so let's head on in. It's in this little altar area. Spud, isn't that? It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. So, me being a, you know, six, eight year old boy, I'm gonna go take it. Oh, you just rock up, it says grab. Bam, pull it out. Wait, what's this? Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought you held the keys to the door of time led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. And he's just gonna laugh in your face. So we just screwed up big time. Spud. Wake up, Spud, the chosen one. The holy potato. So, that's like my last memory, I guess. And now I'm just waking up from something. Looking around, I'm seeing all these crazy colorful waterfalls and platforms. And what's going on here? I see some, see some dude. Who's that guy? I am Rauru. Rauru? Rauru? One of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance of the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Spud, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Look at us. We have grown up. <laughs> but 
that was a quick childhood. <laughs> Spud, look, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. I lost seven years of my life for pulling out that sword. And now that you are old enough, the hero of the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah, I guess. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. The power of all the sages is awakened. The sage's seal will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Rauru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you. Find the power of the other sages add their might to your own. So he's gonna bestow upon me some cool little metal medallion. You received the light medallion. Rahu the sage adds his, adds his power to yours. So let's go ahead and light that up. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. So with that, you're going to be transported back to where we were just a moment ago, but apparently it was seven years ago, right at the altar, the pedestal of time. Spud, we're back in the Temple of Time. But if seven years really passed, it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. What do you mean I can't use my slingshot? My boomerang? Why not? Uh oh, who's that? It's going down. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. Evil rules all, and awakening boys from the sacred realm will call those destined to, this, to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikah. As I see you standing there holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice but look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the Waiting for the time to awaken in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I'm sure you know. Zarya. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you can't even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kariko Village. Do you understand, Spud? Okay, Sheik. I guess we gotta go take care of that. All right. So, uh, with us growing up now, question of the day is, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Or, if you're grown up, you know, what did you want to be when you were a kid? When I was a little kid, 
like 10 years old, it was in my mind that I was going to go play professional basketball in the NBA. Uh, the realization of the feasibility of that uh, came to light about a year later. <laughs> the fact that I wasn't very good at basketball at all. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what I wanted to be when I was a little kid. That's what I wanted to do when I grew up. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. What you, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? So yeah, things have changed here in Hyrule. Things are a little uh, dark and gloomy. Oh, well, just light it up right there. There we go. But we're gonna listen to Sheik, and we are going to roll on over to Kariko Village. And, I mean, we could do some investigating, but I know where we need to go. Excuse me. We're gonna head over to the graveyard. Which is a little area back here we actually didn't go to at all when we were younger. There's a couple of things we're going to do in here. The first thing we're going to do... Actually, no, we're just going to do the one thing now I think about it. Is it that one? No, it's this one. This one right here. We're going to grab this gravestone here. We're going to pull this. It's going to create a little opening. And we're going to fall down here. We're going to find this ghost right here. His name's Dampy. Hey, 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 young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in your, my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. So I'm going to follow this guy. This little ghost. And of course, he wants me to go as fast as I can. He's throwing fireballs at me. But if you just use the roll, you avoid his fireballs, you'll be just fine. He's got these little time sections too, if you're not quick enough. And there, now we're getting little uh, other areas that you don't want to go into. Oh, there we go. Oh, almost hit that one kind of like in concentration mode. But yeah, if you just utilize the, uh... Ah, good, I got it under a minute. So he's gonna give me his beloved treasure which I mentioned earlier is my favorite item from this game, which is the one and only Hookshot. Hey. And it's a really cool toy. So let's go ahead and equip it. There we go. Let's see, what else could we use? We could use some bombs, we could use some Deku Nuts. And then we see right here, and you see this, this is actually that symbol on the door of time, so you know. There we go. Took me a second to figure it out. But yeah, if you play that, whenever you see those blocks, it gets rid of them for you. That will lead you right over here. And real quick, we're gonna do a little side quest thing. We're gonna pull out this ocarina. What, you got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. So this is how you learn the song. Um, the song of storms. And of course, this is kind of a weird setup because 
he's referring to you when you're seven years younger, which you'll play this song to, for him. Uh, but he just taught you how to play the song, so it's kind of confusing. <laughs> I don't know if it even works, technically, but... He teaches you the song that you ta that you played for him seven years earlier. But yeah, we just learned the song of Storms. And wow, since we had learned the song of Storms, we got a little bit of time on our hands. We are actually going to go grab... We're going to grab another helpful thing real quick. We're going to make our way over here. Oh, I guess I... yeah. I didn't need the Song of Storms to do this, did I? Yeah, that's not what I need. There we go. Yeah, so you see the Triforce there on the ground, so it plays Zelda's Lullaby. Then, things are going to get a little crazy. Rain picks up. Starts lightning. It's like crazy thunderbolt. Hits the thunder. Boom! The headstone collapses. It creates a little gateway. So what are we going to do? We're going to go jump in it. Royal Family's Tomb. So we got some bats here, and we're actually going to just use our new acquired hookshot to take care of all those bats. To open up this new little door. Right here. You could light up those torches, but I think they just give you money or maybe a heart piece. I can't remember exactly. But we got some redeads over here that we are going to avoid like the plague. And once we walk over here, we're going to check this little thing out here. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, Pokemon sun and moon, P give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. So this is how you learn the sun song. And this, uh, um, I don't think it's, I'm trying to think, I don't think it's necessary to know this song to beat the game, but I figured since we had a little bit of time, I'd, I'd nab it. And we got one other little side quest thing that we're going to take care of for to end up this episode. Rest the souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm. Bring them calm with the sun song. So what it means by that is, you know, these redeads that we just ran into here. These guys are kind of nasty. If they, uh, if they catch on you, they can paralyze you at first with their gaze. And then, if you get too close, they'll hop on you and they'll start, like, attacking your face. They're kind of creepy. But if you play the sun song with them close by, they'll, like, freeze. And then they won't be able to attack you. And that works for just like 15 20 seconds or something so it's nice to just get past them a nice little handy trick there but enough uh, enough of us snooping around graves let's go ahead and head on out no need to read that gravestone and then we're going to head on out of the graveyard, and we're going to head out of Kariko Village. Kariko Village. Kariko? Yeah. 
So yeah, we're just going to roll a couple more times. That sun song though may come in handy for a couple events that we need to take care of if it needs to be a certain time of day. Like how it's night right now. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to Long Long Ranch. We're going to get ourselves a horse. So we're just going to roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll some more. And walk and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. <laughs> yeah, just before we go in though, we are going to... That's not what I need. Let's see. So I learned all the uh, all these songs now. Which which songs? There we go. And the sun song. Another benefit of it. it well, just like within a second, switch from nighttime to daytime. Which is what we need to do. Come over here. Finish this little quest right over here. So we're going to talk to this guy right over here. There's some people in Carico, Carico spring rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch. But don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, would you like to ride one of my fine horses? If you pay me ten rupees, you can ride. Uh, I don't need to know how to ride. I've been riding for a long time. So yeah, you could... You could ride any of the horses. You may notice this horse right over here looks kind of familiar, but if we try to go after it, it runs away from us. That's why... Try to remember what it is. Okay. That's why we learned this song before we became an a older gentleman. Last one time we came over here, because that is Hipponia. And when she hears that song, she'll let us approach her, and we'll even be able to ride her. Ride around, and actually, you can hop over these uh, those two gates here. And you can actually make your money back. So I just made my money back from the horse riding. I don't know. I think it requires. Yeah, I see. I think you gotta ride twice. So I'm just gonna ride around for a second. So yeah, he'll say time's up, you only pay 10 rupees. Then I'm gonna go ride again. And this time, when I go to ride, which I need to. Let's see. Yep, there we go. This time, when I get on Eponia. And I talk to him. He'll say, you're getting better, how about a little race with me? One lap around the crowd with that horse. Let's make a little wager, say, 50 rupees. Rupees, excuse me. So yeah, we're going to race. The key to this is just kind of stay in front of them. You'll notice these carrots... Carrots are kind of like your boost, but however, if you use them all, 
it'll slow down your horse like significantly. But yeah, if I race him, he'll go, oh shoot. If the great Granador found out about this humiliation, how you? How about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. So you're gonna race him again. And if you win, you get to keep the horse. And I believe he plays the exact same way. He's gotta, you gotta use that one boost real quick. The key is to like even out your boosts, your boosts. And you're gonna slow down a little bit, and that's fine. You just gotta time it well. And then when you get to the end, you just boost away from them, just like that. 25 seconds, just like that. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did my tame? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <sighs> As I promised, I'd give you the horse, you. However, I'll never let let you leave this ranch. So this guy's a scumbag. Eh? He won't let me keep my horse. He won't let me leave. He'll just tell me that. Uh oh. I torqued off the chickens. Remember I said about the chickens earlier? <laughs> if you torque off the chickens, they're gonna chase you and they're gonna attack you. So, anyhow. So the way to get out, you see this uh, this railing here? Any of these railings? If you run at it fast enough, the pony will jump over it and you escape the ranch. And now, we have a horse, which will come in handy when we're moving around. It's a lot easier. So, I think that's going to do it for episode number 7, guys. Um, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this episode. Make sure you answer question of the day. What do you want to be when you grow up? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, hopefully you really enjoyed this series. Today we grew up and tomorrow, next time, episode 8, we're going to be taking on uh, our first temple as an adult. So, real quick, we are going to save because it's always important to save but that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you really did enjoy the series please feel free to subscribe so you can stay in tune mondays wednesdays and fridays for our series that we're doing with legend of zelda ocarina of time 3d three heart challenge guys i'm uncle spud have a good one <laughs>